in today's session of Divorce Court. Carol Lacan says she should have known from the start her marriage to Matthew would be full of problems. This is my engagement ring. That looks like a piece of white. That's exactly what it is. On our wedding night, this man turned into a sex maniac. He took me to a $25 motel, and he goes down in the lobby, and he rents not one, but four or five porno tapes. Then he wants me to do everything. I can't do that stuff. How did you meet Mr. Lacan? We were sitting in a pool, and uh, she first took her top off. I did not bear my chest. He bared my chest. What kind of? I'm 17. What am I supposed to do? Did you know he was underage? I like them underage. I like them young. I don't like older men. It's the colorful case of Carol Lacan's versus Matthew Lacan's in today's session of Divorce Court. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Carol Lacan's versus Matthew Lacan's. And Mrs. Lacan's, I'm advised that after two years of marriage, you're ready to end it. Yes, ma'am. Because on our wedding night, this man turned into a sex maniac. Oh, he turned no, into no, one no, on your no, wedding no. night? Yes, uh, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, so that means he was even. having a good time with you? No, it was not with me. It was with the porno tapes he rented. Oh, she just crazy He took me to now. a cheap motel, $25 motel on You know, if you would have had a job, we could have got a nice hotel. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. Thank you. Anyway, he took me to a $25 motel, and he goes down in the lobby, and he rents not one, but four or five porno tapes and brings them up with the VCR, and he wants me to watch him. So that's fine. At first, I'll watch him with him. It's my wedding night. I'm willing to do some of that. But then he wants me to do everything. I can't do that stuff. He wants you to do everything that was on the porn tape? Yes, ma'am. And that's the first that you heard of this pornographic appetite? Yes, ma'am. I'm six years older than this man. There Your is Honor, no I way I could do that. Be quiet, Mr. You. Lacan's, when she's talking. You're six years older than him? Yes, ma'am. When I met him, he was 17, and I was 23. He surprised you. You thought you had something on him until... The tapes. Ooh, it was good at first, but I, uh -uh, after a while, it just got kinky. I couldn't handle that. <laughs> and that's what happened? Yes, ma'am. Mr. I, Le I Mr. Le Le something was wrong with him. You thought something was wrong? Yes, ma'am. And when he had man... never exhibited any signs of that type of healthy appetite before? No, ma'am. Not like that. <laughs> so what, you thought you was going to teach him since he was 17 and you were 23? Well, no, I just thought I could get a little happiness out of it. You well, know? that's what he was trying to provide, a little happiness. <laughs> not that much. Yo, you, oh, you didn't want it? that much. I can go six, seven times a day, but when it comes to going with <laughs> porno tapes, that's ridiculous. Well, maybe he thought that he couldn't measure up to you since he was so much younger than you, and he needed a little help Yo, with I the tapes. Is that yeah, what was right. going on? I need to practice. How did you meet Mr. Lacan? Uh, I was talking to her cousin at the time. What? You were not. Y'all were just friends. Yeah, well, that's friends. what talking means. Not what he. See, look at her. You see how, you see how she's always talking. guilty. You see how this happens. So you were friends with her cousin. I was friends with her cousin. And, and you met her. At a party one night. And and you became more excited and interested in Miss Lacan's. Did she come on to you? Uh, I, technically, she came on to me. What do you mean technically? Oh, you. What do you mean by that? Uh, we were sitting in a pool, and um. We wasn't in no pool. Oh, we were all in right, Ms. Lacan's. I'm there. talking to Mr. Lacan's now. Thank you, Your I'm Honor. Sorry. You weren't in a, you were sitting in a pool and what? We were sitting in a pool and uh, she first took her top off. And I'm 17, somebody's gonna take the top off. What am I supposed to do? Well, you weren't the only man in the pool or only boy in the pool, were you? No, uh, my husband was there. Excuse oh, me? No, 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 no. Now this take is the it night there. before. This Hold is, on uh, a second. You after. were already married. Yes, ma'am, I was. But when you I wasn't met this kid. It at home. When you met this kid. Yep. Yeah. You're in a pool together. Swimming pool, I take. Exactly. Yes, and you're going to bear your chest in front of him? I did not bear my chest. He bared my chest after uh, my husband bared so. my cousin's chest. What kind of family is this? It was a party, Dysfunctional, Your Honor. Dysfunctional, Your Honor. What was this, a free-for-all? <laughs> it was a party. Oh, I well, I go to parties all the time. Oh, and this was a different kind of party. It was... Oh, I, I'm real obvious to me. It and was. I wasn't aware it was this kind of party. Until did you after know I he was a child? Did you know he was underage? 
I like them underage. I like them young. I don't like older men. So you just wait until they turn 17 and go for it? Oh, well, if you ain't getting it at home, you'll go get it. Just that's like not, he that's did. That's not what the marriage vow says, is it? Marriage vow I didn't read that anywhere. Working. Marriage vow wasn't working. The marriage vow said that you stay with one man. That's what they say, but somebody should have told my husband that because he was with every woman that walked by, just like this one. And uh, so obviously you were playing the same game. I did at the end. But then he got to be too much for you. <laughs> I should have known that to begin with. I should have known he was going to take me to a cheap motel too. You should see my first engagement ring. This is my first engagement ring. Hey, that looks like a piece of time. white. That's exactly what it is. It is the plastic top <laughs> off of a liquor bottle. And then, this is my second, a bubblegum machine hey. question mark. It's not funny to me, because when I think of the fact that people are getting married, I, I think of it as a serious commitment to a lifetime journey and not fun and games. And now I'm playing a game. If my husband goes out and run around with 10 other women, then I'm going to do the same. It's not tit for tat. And it's a shame to know that a person that's older and he's younger, that that's what you think of. You're supposed to be at least, you know, having a more understanding of it than this young kid. It didn't matter to you about the I marriage at that point. I your honor. Right, you I were just excited was about his body. Oh, you thought you were in lust. <laughs> but then, what happened, Mr. Lacan's? Uh, it's too just, much for you? What what happened? She wouldn't keep a job. I was trying to pay rent, light, bill, uh, you know, water, everything else. And every time I mentioned the W word, she disappeared. What for... W word? Work? Work. Oh, you couldn't <laughs> say that too loud. No, ma'am. So when you met her, what's she working? <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Excuse me? When I... you met her, was she working? Oh, uh, no, ma'am. So you were trying to be the man oh, yeah. and work and provide everything for her? Yes, ma'am. Did ma you know she was married when you met her? Uh, yes, ma'am. And that didn't have any, make any difference to you? Do what you got to do. I mean, you know. Well, you don't have to go after a married woman, and you don't have to have sex with her. That's not no, something you have to do. It's just one of those things that just happens, you know? No, it didn't just happen. Many, you allow it to happen. One thing led to another. No, you allow it to happen. You don't have any more control over your body well, see, than that? You know, what I do, that's not my fault. She was still married at the time. If anybody should have tried to stop it, she should have. No, you too. You didn't have any more control over your body than that? No, ma'am. You have a little bit more control now? <laughs> yeah, now that I'm a little bit older. Yeah. Well, not according to your wife. She said you're still running around with everybody in town. I don't know what she's talking about, Your Honor. Oh. I think it's all make believe. Are you stalking me? <laughs> How you know what I'm doing all the time? No, 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 no. I'm talking you made about me go get a restraining before order, we separated. You? Let's talk about the what little girl. What happened before you separated? The little girl. Under what little girl? girl? She's about 15 years old, came to the house with his brother. I keep a liquor cabinet. I'm old enough. I keep a liquor cabinet, a very nice one. But this little girl comes nice in, and I was about. back in my bedroom. <laughs> I can't remember what I was doing. But anyway, when I walked back through to my living room, this little girl's in a G-string, gyrating all over his lap. And in when your I, house? In my house. And when I asked him what was going on, he said she spilled beer on her pants. So I don't what, care uh, what she so did. So, and that got you upset, huh, Miss LeCon? Yes, it got me upset. I told him to get her out of my house. When Divorce Court returns, Matthew's witness takes the stand. And the judge makes a surprising discovery. What's the status between you and Miss Carter now? They're engaged. Engaged? Engaged? Oh, she's engaged, We're too. both engaged. That's not a oh big deal. Oh, my goodness. You get engaged before you get divorced? I did with him. So marriage to you is just one big joke? No, you go through until you find the right one. Are you involved in a dispute with a neighbor, friend, relative, or business person? Take your case to a new court show and be represented by a prominent attorney. Call 877-777-0099. Divorce court is back in the case of Carol Lacans, who says her marriage to Matthew ended because he could not be faithful. So did you ever think to yourself, oh my goodness, I'm reaping what I sowed. Yes, I was I over did. there bearing my chest, and I was a married woman to a young boy, 17, and now the tables are around. turned. There's a young girl after my husband. Did yes, you ever did. think about that? Yes, I did, but so what? At this time, I was being faithful. Oh. This is the one thing that I never tried to mess up. But you know what? Unfortunately, when you, lay, when you sow some seeds, they, they grow back. up, and they I grow know. up later. So this one time, you were being faithful, but those seeds that you had sown earlier, they were taking root. That's not the only time. I went to take him to lunch at work, and when I pulled up, he's coming out with somebody else. I don't know what she's talking about. Tell the so truth, she's Matthew. Lying. 
far as I'm concerned, yeah. Because I have so no recognition of place. anything ever happening like that. What about any I other think women? If anything came out of that, it was the way she gave you her phone number at the end. Excuse you know what I'm talking me. about. I didn't get a phone number. You the one asking the girl. Oh, to this do is a just three. ridiculous. Oh, Who is the witness so. over here? You a witness? Yes, ma'am. Step forward. Maybe you can add something to this. What's your name? Can't get no words. Candy. Candy what? Carter. So you're his girlfriend? Yes, ma'am. So what do you want to tell me about this mess? I was not messing around with him while they were together. They had already separated. She um, decided that she wanted to get back with him after he started seeing me, and it was too late then. So then what happened? Anything happened between the two of you? I hit her car, and she thinks I did it on purpose. You hit her he car? Did. How did you just happen to hit her car? He had the car. He got it back from her because she couldn't afford it, because she couldn't keep a job. I and, couldn't afford it. Uh, Ms. Lacans, I'm talking fun. to Ms. Carter now. So it was parked in my yard, and I'm wasn't used to having anybody parked behind me, and I went to back out, and I accidentally hit her car. You were just backing out and didn't realize the car was there? I would not deliberately take my $36,000 truck and hit her $4,000 piece of crap Excuse car. Excuse me, that's a $30,000 car too, dear. Excuse me. Maybe 10 years ago, uh, Miss Carter, I'm going to tell you the same thing. You're talking to me. Yes, ma'am. Your aunt. Now, how, how much damage did you cause? I put cause. a little dent in the front bumper, and if you put a license plate over it, you can't even tell the car Your was Honor, hit. I have pictures. Let me it see. It is not a little dent. She wrecked the car right after there. she got I it got back, CDs. too. I didn't take pictures of what I did to it. I took pictures of what you did to it. And I have oh, an okay. estimate on that bumper. And it was so much damage that there was nothing wrong with my truck. Well, if you had a truck and you hit a small car, I would imagine there isn't much damage to your truck. But it doesn't mean that there isn't much damage to her little car. You well, had a $36,000 truck. It was not truck. her car at the time. It was but his I car, and I paid payments on it, too. So You didn't make any payments I paid. I car. put insurance on it. Could you keep insurance on it? You couldn't even drive it with insurance. There were no payments Now, you know what? Car. What do you guys think? This is a free-for-all in a cat fight. Now, if you want to do that, I'll send you out in the hall, and you can do all your little cat fighting you want to do. But I'm not going to be a party to it. And you get that little smirk off your face, too. Now, at first, I had you had me believe it, but the way you had a little smirk at, at the fact that it was damaged and what she's saying, it leads me to believe that it may not have been an accident because you seem to think it's funny. I don't think it's funny. Well, that's not what your attitude is saying to me now. I have an estimate on those damages. Let me see the estimate because the pictures are not really showing me how your much Honor, the damages are. it may are. look minor on the thing, but that is my car. That is a major problem. The estimate of the damages are $686 for the damage, and that's only for front bumper cover. It's not any other damage on mm. this estimate. Now, anything else you want to tell me, Ms. Carter? When I hit that car, he had all intentions of keeping, and I would not purposely hit a car that he was willing to keep and make payments on. Well, so now, did he give the car back to her? She said that his, her grandfather co-signed for the car, and... She said that he, she could come and get it car. anytime she I wanted to. I just have one question. Did he give the car back to her? Because your statement was, when I hit the car, I wouldn't have purposely hit a car that he intended to keep. Did the car somehow get back to Mrs. Lacan? It I did have. go back. And how did he get back to her? She um, said she wanted to come and pick it up. But I thought he had taken it because she wasn't paying the note. He did. Oh. But, Your Honor, I also But now it got car. back to her because she wanted to come and pick it up. And you and her, you and Miss Lacans hadn't had any squabbles before this occurred, right? No, ma'am. No. Did you ever offer to repair it? No, ma'am. All right. Why not? She never asked me to. Anything else you want to tell me? No, ma'am. So to this day, the car hasn't been repaired. No, ma'am. All right. Have a seat, Miss Carter. Thank you very much. So now, what about that, Mr. Lacans? What it was is I parked behind her, and since she wasn't used to me moving in with her, I parked behind her, and we got in the truck one night, wasn't paying attention, and backed up. So you into the car. Did you ask them re to repair it? I told him that I would like to get the money to fix my bumper, and both oh. of them said that insurance will cover it. They never had insurance on the car. What's the status between you and Miss Carter now? They're engaged. Engaged? Engaged? And the marriage is not over? Oh, she's engaged, We're too. both engaged. It's not a oh big deal. Oh, my goodness. You, you see how long this marriage lasted? You are in... <laughs> how long was this marriage? Two years. <laughs> Two years, but I didn't... So now you're engaged to someone else? Yes, I am. You get engaged before you get divorced? I did with him. 
We were engaged before I got divorced. Your Honor, I call a uh, So you haven't learned anything from, 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 from that. Not. So marriage to you is just one big joke. No, you go through until you find the right one. Your Honor, this runs in the family, though. Well, what about... Now, you can't talk about her family. You engaged, too. Didn't you Thank just tell you. me that? Oh, but see, I'm the first one in my family to do something like this. Oh, so you're I, trying I, to keep up? <laughs> Don't even go there. You're trying uh, to keep up with her. Just trying to set the pace, Your Honor. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. If I could pass a law where people would not be allowed and be forbidden to remarry, <laughs> you two would be the first ones. And an update on the case of Gail Williams versus Ricky Colbert. I married him because he got on my nerves asking me. I never trusted him from day one. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back in the case of Carol Lacans versus Matthew Lacans as the judge prepares to give her ruling. It is not funny at all. You know, I've tried and I've said a few times that if I could cause somebody to have a vasectomy and could demand that and could order that, I would cause a vasectomy. If I could cause sterilization for some women who keep conceiving children, I would order that because people are bringing children into the world haphazardly, don't care about it. It's all funny games. Now, this is the first. If I could pass a law, where people would not be allowed and be forbidden to remarry, <laughs> you two would be the first ones. <laughs> because you don't understand what it's all about. It's all fun and games to you. It's a, look at him, he's still laughing about it. I'm not laughing. Do you realize, Miss Carter, that this man is not about to make a commitment to you? No, ma'am. And that this is not about to be a serious relationship? Because it's all, you know, it's like picking up the toys and playing with it. And when you get tired of the toy, you dump it. That's what it is. It's a game. You don't need to be remarried to anyone. But Commitment, that's what I want. loyalty, dedication, that's not what it's all about when the fun and games is gone. Marriage, there will be fun times. But you're supposed to stay together through the fun times, through and the lean the times. times, through Somebody the bad times. I didn't that. ask either one of you to say a word to me or to each other. That's my Rihanna. Now, the car, if it was a community car and you were separated and you wrecked the car, you should have paid for the car. But there's Whether no damage accident, done on it, Your Honor. There is damage done on the car. The estimate is here. The pictures are here. Now, just because you think that it's a minor damage and it's no big thing to you, it's not the car that you're driving. So big deal if you don't want it, if you would drive it like that. She chooses not to drive it like that, and she's not required to drive it like that. If you damage the car, you have to pay for it. If you didn't see it, you should have seen it. And once you didn't see it and it was an accident, the adult, responsible, right thing to do would be to pay for it. But you think it's funny, and it's no damage. And somebody else said they, it didn't have to be repaired. I say it has to be repaired. And I say that you pay for it, Mr. Well, McCons. That's the order of the court. Good day. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Gail Williams versus Ricky Colbert. I found a letter in my mailbox stating that he was the father of our neighbor's twins. Oh. Closed captioning for Divorce Court provided by... Are you involved in a dispute with a neighbor, friend, relative, or business person? To appear before a real judge on a new court show, call 877-777-0099. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Gail Williams said she married her husband, Ricky Colbert, for all the wrong reasons. I married him because he got on my nerves asking me. Okay, I married you because of your job. I never trusted him from day one. I didn't like any of his friends. There was a bunch of leeches. And when another woman accused Ricky of fathering her children, Gail decided to leave. I found a letter in my mailbox stating that he was the father of our neighbor's twins. Oh. Ricky says that Gail forced him to tattoo her initials on his arm, and now he wanted her to pay $500 to have it removed. The judge decided Gail should pay half the money, and Ricky should pay the other half. Ricky says his tattoo is coming off next month, and that will make his new girlfriend very happy. 
but he will not tattoo her initials or any other woman's on his body ever again. Gail got a promotion to head bartender at the club where she works and says she is throwing a big party to celebrate her birthday and will also mark the occasion with a new tattoo. I didn't really like the way I was belittled in there by him, but that's fine because I got what I deserve. I believe that judgment was unfair because technically it was my car at the time and I had been making the payments. I am engaged to somebody else and I know this will be the right one regardless of what people say, but if it's not, I will try again. Listen, the porno tapes and stuff, that was all her idea. I won't have an older man, he's gotta be younger.